Hello everyone, in this video we will make crude sorting, pagination, and filtering REST API using Fast API and React.js as a front end. Let's go start it. We create project using Potray. Just type in your terminal Potray new backend. Then open it using IDE. I use PyCharm IDE. There is a little adjustment. We change the file name to app. In PyProject Tomo, we change the name and the author. Create the main file. Add fast API and UVCon library to Potray. Don't forget, we create a Python environment. In there, this is main code. We will run using Fast API. Let's make a simple to run Fast API. Create a star function as a root star level. Okay, don't forget Patre script in PyProject Tomo. Don't forget to create a star variable whose destination is the main Fast API file. We install some dependency libraries such as uh, SQL model, SQL alchemy, and others. Next, we create configuration file. Before that, we export all dependency from Potray to pip virtual environment.
we create the first async database session class and create the attribute that are session and engine. In the engine, attribute we use the create async chronos engine function as a connection to PostgreSQL database. We use the session attribute session maker function as a session controller connection to database. Then create one more function to run the connection and generate table from Fast API. Also, we create a commit rollback function that aims to commit if the data is appropriate and if the data doesn't match, we rollback. There is some code we have to add. We create the init app function. We create startup event in which we run the create all function. We create a shutdown, shutdown event in which we turn off the database connection. Time to make a model person. First, we create sex enum class. There are male and female attribute. Next, we create a person class by extending SQL model class. We need to migrate table to database using Alembic. There are some adjustments if we want to do Alembic migration asynchronously. You go to the env file in the migration folder. Import library async.io SQL model SQL alchemy. Find target metadata. Replace with SQL model dot metadata. 
we create a new function do run migration which is contain code connection and just copy the code Then we add a sync engine function to engine function. From config and we create new connection below. Finally, we add a single run function to run migration online. Okay, let's create schema file first. Create the class person create by extending base model from identity. We import it first, then just copy the attribute from the person model, adjust the data type, and also import the sex enum class from model folder that we have created next we create a validation project we add sex validation function, we add validator from identity, and add conditional if get attribute.
It's time for us to create a repository class. Create a person repository with the person create parameter input from schema file. Add with the input person model, adjust the parameter with the person create class. To tidy up the writing, we can use CTRL and Shift L on PyCharm. Okay, next we call the role by commit function. Create get by ID function with a person ID parameter with an integer data type. As usual, we call the select query with the person ID condition. Then execute the query. Now we create update function with input person ID and and person create. As usual, we call the query, then call db execute and commit rollback function. And the last, we create delete function with the person ID input parameter. Okay, we have made all the function, create update delete and get by ID. The next step is to create controller. Add router variable with the API router function from fast API and add the person prefix. Then create a person controller with the post method. The input is the request body from the person create class in schema file. Next, and then do the same as a before. Create update controller, create delete controller, and create get by ID controller.
okay, don't forget to register the router in the main file. All the work has been done to make API, now it's time to test. Here I have created an example of data. There are 11 data that we will input, but now let's try one data first. Let's try to input data number one, namely the nearest. If we look at the data, it's already in the database, namely Danny Rossi. Then we try to check ID 1. Everything appears ok. We try to update with the default. If we see that the data has been replaced in database. We test a delete API. Okay, it has been delete in database too. Then I will input all the data first. Let's make get all controller with the input parameter page data type integer having a default value of 0 limit have integer data type with a default value 10 column have data type string short have data type string And lastly, there are a filter have data type string. Before editing the retrieve repository, we will create page response class in the schema file. We create a class page response with the attribute page number, page size, total page, portal records, and the content. Okay, first we add query select all column. And next we add condition if the column to be selected is only a few, not all. In the 
cell column, the idea is that we need to change the input data from string to list of SQL alchemy column. Later, the input will look like this. If the column name to be selected are more than one, they will be separated by this. The first stage, we need to separate the dash on the string. Second, we enter the data input in the SQL alchemy column function and enter the column into a list. To shorten the code, we create a function and convert it to lambda function. The initial idea filter stage is that we need to convert the string data into dictionary where the key of the dictionary is the column name and the value is the word we want to search for. First stage we need to separate the string with asterisk and dashes. An asterisk means the words you want to search for in each column and this separating the columns. In this condition, we will validate the column name attribute. If it exists in the person model, we will make the query. Next, we will create a sorted column. The idea is quite easy just by writing the column names. And if you want to sort more than one column, we separate them with a dash, similar to the select query earlier.
the process of making pagination is quite easy you only need to add an offset and limit close Okay, everything is in order. Let's do test API. First, test the pagination. We try to change the limit to 5. Okay, everything is good. The second test, let's try to select the name and country. Oh, apparently there was some mistake. I forgot to change the data type to column from SQL Alchemy. We try again and succeeded. The data displayed is only the name and the country. Now try to change again and it worked too. Third, we will try sorting. Just add a name of column to be sorted. Okay, let's try. Okay, good. The last, we try a filtering parameter. Okay, let's try to do filter for the word America in the name and country column. Okay, it's work and the data display is correct. Okay, we will try to change initial page starting to become 1. Don't forget to change the default info value to 1. Okay, finally we finished making crude sorting, paging, and filtering in Fast API.